Are we rolling? All right, it's 329 and the loft still isn't finished. Pero vamos que te pasa, que estás haciendo todo el mundo. Oh my god. Man, the hype video this week sucks. So why did you film it off? Are you seeing this? Let's get out of here, man! You're watching The Loft. What's up, Centennial? I'm your host, Riley Doherty. And I'm Evelyn Heineke. And, and you're watching episode 11 of The Loft. Nights, camera, action. Every October we get pumpkins from New Mexico, a Native American reservation in New Mexico, and that provides uh, employment opportunities for them. It's our largest fundraiser of the year. These profits go right back into the community. For instance, there's a food pantry at Holcombridge Middle School and River Eaves Elementary School. We have missionaries. Uh, some of the pro proceeds go towards them. We have something called Period Project for uh, women. In addition to pumpkins, we have, you can get your picture taken over there. A lot of families get their picture taken for Christmas cards. Today, we have a petting zoo over there. We'll often have a Kona ice, shaved ice truck. Last Saturday we had Girl Scouts were selling cookies and brownies. Always something going on at the pumpkin patch. So we're open every day of the week. This Saturday we'll have a family event and we encourage everyone to come. It'll be a lot of fun, lots of activities for everyone, for all ages. My name is Michael. I am seven years old. I'm having fun. Taking a picture with the over there and and getting the pumpkins. People should visit here because it's really fun and they have lots of cool other pumpkins like type of animals pumpkins and there's like a farm um, that has lots of animals and it's really cool. Go nights. Welcome back to the Wheel of Doom. I'm Jeremy, this is? James. And this week's contestant is? Knox. Knox, when you're ready, you can spin the wheel. It landed on pick your poison, so you can do whatever you want. Again. He wants to make a three-pointer, so we'll see you at the gym where he's gonna try to make a three-pointer. We're here at the new and improved round table. Knox, you can shoot as many as you want, but every miss is a down and back. How are you feeling? I feel like I can dunk. 
Now basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way it dribble up and down the court. I keep it so fresh on the microphone. I like no interruptions when the game is on. I like the slam dunk to take me to the hoop. My favorite play is the alley oop. I like to pick and roll. I like to give and go. And this basketball, bow wow, let's They're go. They're playing basketball. We love that basketball. Hey, Riley. Hey, Evelyn. Why did Humpty Dumpty love fall so much? because he had a great fall. <laughs> Centennial, it's last year with your weekly announcements. Centennial is hosting a movie night on October 31st during third period in KTT. You need 200 PBIS points to join us. Auditions for Legally Blonde are November 6th, 7th, and 8th. Show up and show up and you're all blue for your night senior night tonight at the Fortress. That's all for this week. Have an amazing weekend. Go Knights! This is Ms. Dillon. How are you guys? Are I teach math? algebra and geometry. This is my third year in Centennial. I like math. My basic degree is engineering degree, so teaching math is easiest. I love knitting, cooking, and I hate cleaning. When I came from India to here, I never seen airplane. That was, I struggled a lot, honestly speaking. I had to learn English. I had to learn how to order even food and money, how money works. Um, that was the biggest struggle. And it took me time, but I learned that if I can do it, you can do it. Geometry. I absolutely love it because it makes sense. Um, it's very visual, and that's what my background is. Try new things. Be flexible. Learn new language. Learn something new. It will help you grow later in life. Take risks. Calculate the risks. Your word of the week is agathocological. A-G-A-T-H-O-K-A-K-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L, agathocological. It means composed of both good and evil. Dude, school just sucks. Look at how much work I have to do. I have to read all of this by tomorrow. Well, I mean, you gotta think about the positive things, too. There's good things about school. Like what? What about school is good? Well, I mean, even though you have a bunch of homework, school's still good because you get to see your friends, learn new things, and you can also join clubs and stuff. Oh, yeah. I guess you make a good point. Yeah, I mean, you just got to deal with it. School's just a gap ecological. I'm Noah, and I'm in 10th grade. My name's Anna Stiers, and I'm a junior. I'm Alexa, and I'm in 11th grade. 
I'm Anna and I'm a senior. I started swimming when I was six years old on my neighborhood summer league team and then I swam for five years and I did all of that because I just loved swimming so much. Um, I love all the people on the Centennial swim team. We always have such great energy and we joke around and we have so much fun together and it just really makes the meets and practices so much fun. What I love about Centennial Swim is the pasta parties. They're pretty fun to go to and we always have a good time. I started swimming when I was six at the Spring Ridge, like my summer league team. And then in fourth grade, I started doing year round and I've stuck with it ever since. I love the environment. Our team has a really close bond. So there's like always a lot of energy. Um, I really like the people on the team. We all have a really good relationship and they make it a lot of fun. My favorite events are the 100 free, the 50 free, and the 100 breaststroke. I think the swim line of res um, renovations are pretty bad. They could have done a lot more, like the ceiling is now missing from the bathrooms. The wall or the, yeah, the walls are kind of bad, and the t weights in the weight room are old and rusty, and I feel like they could have gotten new ones. No, I don't. I think Swim Atlanta should have renovated a lot more. We should have gotten new weights and like new machines and new equipment, but instead they just put a window in and I think it's stupid. I do like the Swim Atlanta renovations. Um, the locker rooms are a lot cleaner. There's no more cockroaches and rats when we're getting ready, so that's really nice. Hey, my bad, bro. Thanks, dude. Hey, bro. My tip. What? Yo, you got a pencil? Yeah, I got you. There you go. Thank you. Tonight, your Centennial football team has a game against Blessed Trinity. It's a blue out for underclassmen and a blackout for seniors. Also remember that tonight is our last home game and senior night, so be there and show out. Go Knights! Good morning, Knights. This Friday, when the Titans come play the Knights at the Fortress, it will be a high of 81 and a low of 52. The weather for Saturday will be a high of 81 and a low of 53, and the weather for Sunday will be a high of 71 and a low of 56. Go Knights! Today we're going to see how many attempts it takes to kick a 40-yard field goal. Today I'm here with Pedro Fernandez and uh, Sidney Faulkner. Let's go! Sydney's first attempt with the 40 yard and it's and it's not good. Pedro's first attempt. Something different here with the left footed kicker. Attempt number one is no good. Setting up Sydney Faulkner's attempt number two. It is no good. Here we are with Pedro's second attempt to hit the 40 yard field goal. Came up a little bit short last time. Here we go. And it's short. Making sure the ball is perfect. And there is a 75% chance he will pull it left again. Unless he stays through the ball. And to kick a 40 yard field goal. It is good. It is good. Hit the post and it is good on his third attempt. Get this kid on the football team.
everybody. It's your favorite basketball coaches here uh, with uh, whatever Beatner teaches. I didn't know that. I didn't know this was your show. Well, I mean, somebody's got to run this place. Yeah. I like Thanksgiving better than Christmas. Woo! That isn't a popular opinion. What do you? Everything good about the holidays is centered around food, and family. I don't. But mostly food. Do you have a like a fear of men with white beards? My beard's a little white. Are you? So I'm scared of myself. These are the hard hitting questions we have in beat. Tough ones. Yeah. Like I put out lights. Do you put out lights? Do you do like full house? Do you put out the lights? Or do you like hire people to put out the lights? Putting out lights interferes with basketball season, as you know, yes, since you're the head coach. Yeah. So generally the lights go up when my father-in-law is in town and he puts them up for me. My father-in-law pays for my cell phone bill. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's we're... talk about gifts. Gifts. I love getting gifts. Me too. What's your love language? Words of affirmation. Oh, that's me! I'm words of affirmation. God, this is my whole life. This is fire. Birth yeah, I feel warm. Feels good. Well, my birthday is December 23rd. So my whole life, birthday and Christmas have kind of been fused and intertwined. Is that why you like Thanksgiving then? Because you've conflated. We're having, we're, this is good. I deep, might folks. need to <laughs> speak this. to somebody yeah. about that. Is we're it, in charge. Is this thing even on? Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, one time I was at my, at my pool, like uh, there was one of my students, uh, like I showed up and she was the lifeguard. I was very self conscious the whole time. Got it. Mostly because the pool is in my backyard. It was my pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, how much, I, don't, I don't even know what's yeah, going wait, on right now. Uh, hey, can I get a, get a little bit more? <clears throat> That's why I like gift cards. Ooh, I don't like gift cards. It lacks like, emotion behind a gift card. You sound like my mom. Which makes me physically uncomfortable. My mom puts the receipt into the gifts. Um, my mom, I'm convinced, buys a gift immediately tears up the receipt and rips off the barcode on the gift so you can't return it. You know what the best so gift is? To return it. Love. Love. Merry you don't even have to buy anything. Unless your love language is gifts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm that's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did we do? What just happened? I don't know what y'all are going to get out of that, but. Good morning, Knights. Welcome back to Man on the Street with Joe Fogg. Who am I here with? Uh, this is Mr. Gilball, one of the fine, illustrious assistant principals here. At best Saturday assistant night. principal, one of the best. Symphony. All right, you ready for the football game on Friday? Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Leia. Frankie. All right. Y'all like Halloween? Yes. Yeah. Officer Lamb. Officer Lamb, the best officer in the school. All right, what's your go-to Halloween candy? Uh, cutting grass on my lawnmower. <laughs> all right, we'll take that. What's your go-to Halloween candy? Starburst. All right, all right, that's valid. Uh, definitely Twix. Candy corn. Candy corn. It's bad. Uh, Kit Kats. Kit Kats. Twix. Twix. All right, all right. What's y'all favorite um scary movie? What? Uh, Scream. Scream. Um, the one with the the skeleton people. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't think it's very scary, but Coraline. All right, all right. No, that, that just kind of I like Hocus Pocus. It's not right. scary, but it's Halloween. If you could bring one horror film character to life, who would it be? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have one? The right answer was none, because why would you want them to come to life? Art the Clown from the Terrifier. All right. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. You're going to pop up in your dreams. <laughs> Ghostface. Okay. I don't know why you want to bring him to life. None. None? No. See, that's the first good answer of the day. You wouldn't want to bring any of them to life. No, none of them. I don't yeah, want any the of right them. Yeah, no. That's the right answer. Done. Michael Myers? Why would you bring him to life, bro? I don't know. Why, why would you want a killer to come to life? Bro, he's going to kill you, bro. Cool. Me traería Freddy Krueger. Oh no, okay. Sí, y eso sería los estudiantes. Si no practican español. What are you gonna dress up for Halloween as? A prisoner. Prisoner. I'm being Bugs Bunny. We're dressing up together. She's going as Chucky. I'm Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Um, an elephant. An elephant. Um, a Hawaiian surfer. <laughs> a prisoner. I have no idea. I need to decide. Yeah, I have no idea. Alright, me neither. Probably a police officer. Okay, okay, okay. Why does every girl go with that? 
Because it's a good, like, friendship type of costume. So, like, your friend could be the prisoner and then you could be the police officer tight. or a relationship. Tight, tight, tight. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. All right, yeah. All right, he took my idea, but okay. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. See, that's valid. That's what I'm going to be. favorite chemistry teacher, Miss Beheimer. Today I'm going to show you what happens when we excite the electrons of certain elements on the periodic table, especially metals. They don't like it, so they'll give that energy back, sometimes as light, that we see as colors. Here is strontium. Ooh. Here is barium. Ah. And everybody's favorite, copper. So there you go, that's your lesson. And as usual, don't try this at home. <coughs> Whoa, Jeremy, you have gotta cover that sneeze. What, it's just a sneeze. When you don't cover your germs, you can spread it to everyone around you. You don't wanna get people sick, right? I'm thinking that, what should I do? Easy, sneeze or cough into your elbow or use a tissue and wash your hands after. It's all about keeping your germs to yourself. <laughs> oh, got it, elbow or tissue, germs stay with me. Exactly, you're keeping us all healthy. Hello, I'm Jonah Knezovich. And I'm Van Lee Borough. And, and these, these are, are your weekly, weekly announcements. announcements. Centennial football takes on the Blessed Trinity Titans today at 7.30 p.m. at the Fortress. Make sure you show up, be loud, and support the Knights. Halloween is finally here, and that means the Bridge to Grace Covenant Church is having their 15th annual pumpkin patch. They have a lot to offer, such as petting zoos, face painting, and a costume contest. The church is just down the road for the Centennial, so swing by for a fun fall activity. This was your weekly announcement. Go, Go Knights! Knights! Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Law of Centennial. We hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Go Knights!